Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So as you know, I've been on this journey to find a niche fragrance that I really, really love and I think that it's worth spending money on. We've done the Lina. This week I will be talking about Mancera. Mancera is a French fragrance house, niche house, and I've ordered some samples. You can order a box of five of eight mil. It comes in this lovely box and you can choose the fragrance that you want. So here they are, I have five of them. One, two, three, four, five. But they also send me four smaller samples with it. So I have nine. I will try to be as quick as I can. One thing that I love about Mancera is they are powerhouses. Their projection and sillage is amazing. If I spray that in the morning, I can still smell it when I go to bed. Most of them. Some are a bit less powerful than others, but most of the ones that I have are unbelievable. And that's not always a good thing. <laughs> Sometimes they can make you sick. You're sick of it, smelling it all day. So I think I will start with my least favorite ones. And please, if you have them and you love them, don't be upset with me, we are all different because I know that the two bottom ones are quite loved out there and I don't like them. They are also very, very reasonably priced. So they come in 60 or 120 ml bottles. They're huge. And I think the 120 ml bottle is about 117 euros, something like this, if you buy it from France. There are other websites that sell them. I will leave you the links to wherever I, I could find them. And the 60 mil, I think, is something like 75 euros. So that, that's one thing that I like about it. They are very, very strong and they are reasonably priced for a niche fragrance house. As you can see, I also have these. I've written the names of each fragrance and I haven't sprayed anything on these for days. You know, I normally say I don't like smelling uh, perfume on these because one, I can't really smell them or you don't get the real smell. It's better to test it on your own skin. But I know now more and less what they smell like. I will remind myself, but these still, I can still smell the fragrance on them and I haven't sprayed it for about four days, anything on it. Before that, I would spray them a few times. Okay. Let's start with holidays. Love these samples because even if you have a full size, these are so nice. They have actual cup. They are like travel spray, so you can put it in your handbag. See, that doesn't smell too bad because it's been there for days. Okay, so this in top notes has sparkling bergamot, coconut in the middle, Tia flower, ylang ylang, steam marine, in the base, sandalwood, vanilla pods, white mask. It sounds wonderful, like holiday. It's not a bad fragrance. So imagine you are on a beach, on your hot skin, suntan lotion, nice suntan lotion. It is so strong, it's actually suffocating. So I wore that to the gym and as soon as I walked in, my personal trainer could smell it. And he immediately said, they can smell coconut, um, that it smells like santan lotion. So it is an okay fragrance, but it was so suffocating. While I was working out, I was so sick of it. By the time I came home, I was like, I just want this smell to go away. I think I don't really like perfume that smell too much like a Santan lotion. There is a lot of body sprays like from uh, Sol de Janeiro that are so beautiful and not as strong because this is obviously perfume. That I prefer that if I want to smell of coconut and Santan lotion. So this one wasn't my favorite. Now, the second least favorite 
is Choco Violet. Now, when I smell it on here, that it's been on here for days, it smell, smells pleasant. I think one thing with this is don't over spray, less is more. Oh, hate it. Absolutely hate it. So this is very gourmand. If you like to smell like a snack, like something that someone could eat, then you might like it. I don't mind a bit of marshmallow, a bit of um, honey, a bit of gourmandy notes in my fragrance, but not like this. So in this fragrance, the top notes are sparkling bergamot, orange, hazelnut. Don't smell any bergamot, don't smell any orange. In, in the middle we have essential violet, dark chocolate, and then in the base, Madagascar vanilla pods and white mask. To me, this opens up, opens up with chocolate and hazelnut. That's all I can smell. And then after a while, you can smell this um, violet. The drying down is so, so weird. So to me, this smells like Nutella or actually the first thing that came to my mind was my son used to love Cocoa Pops or Chocolate Weetos, the cereal. And that's what it smells to me. Not like Cocoa Pops with milk. If you stuck your head, your nose in a box of dry cocoa, cereal and again strong so strong when I wore it that day everybody could smell it as well I came home and I couldn't wait to shower it off couldn't bear it okay so these were the two that I don't like the rest there is a couple that I really like the rest I just don't mind them. So let's do French Riviera. This one is quite strong but not as strong as the first two that I've talked about. Let me actually I'm going to spray that on myself because I think this is not as strong. So let's do French Riviera. You see if you want something holiday-ish I would prefer this to the holidays. So French Riviera at the top has orange, ginger, tangerine, lemon and pepper. And I can definitely smell the lemon and tangerine. I don't know if I can smell ginger that much. Not yet, not at the opening. Then in the middle you have sea notes, vetiva, pine tree, tiara flower, mimosa, and in base, sea salt, white mask, and amber. So this is citrusy, aromatic, marine, and woody fragrance. It's very fresh, but not salty, but that tiara, tiara flower adds a bit of a tropical feel to it, so holiday-ish feel. It's not sweet, it's not coconutty, it's fresh, but a bit, it's not too spicy, it's not too salty. This is quite nice. For the summer, I would so much more prefer to wear this than the holidays. The holidays is too suffocating for me. This is much fresher. You also have to remember that I don't have preferred type of scent like some people just like gourmand some people just like amber some people just like flowery uh, floral uh, fragrances i like it all it depends how it's blended and how it's put together that's all so this is very pleasant i've got some notes and i can see even that i marked it on my notes that i really like it so something a bit similar in a respect that is citrusy, is Fabulous Yuzu. Mm. So, a Fabulous Yuzu um, in the top has Yuzu, Mandarin Orange, Lemon and Cinnamon. In the middle, Jasmine, Mimosa, Vetiva Root and in the base, Sandalwood, Vanilla and Tonka Bean. So, 
this is again very citrusy citrusy but sweet aromatic you can smell those white flowers in it and then it gets quite powdery to me this smells a bit medicinal slightly it's not a horrible scent but it's not my kind of scent so this would go on a pile with the holidays and choco violet sorry i'm going so quickly through them just to give you an overview because i want to spend a bit more time on the ones that i do like the next one is indian dream in a top note heliotrope orange blossom geranium in the middle jasmine amber rose base vanilla sandalwood white mask and a vetiver so this one needs to be sprayed here this is pretty so that's what i would call pretty fragrance it's easy to wear it's creamy powdery clean feminine a bit sweet and it is a bit soapy in a dry down um i know that when this dries down it almost smells like this pretty flowery soap but i, I think it's one of these frank fragrances that you wouldn't smell it and think i hate it it's just one of these that i couldn't say i hate it or i love it but it is a very pretty smell if you're one of these people they just like some florals you know you have that orange blossom geranium jasmine and vanilla you will like it okay the next one is of the wild this one is quite difficult to get i think you can get this one only on mancera's website and i like this one but when i wore it to the gym to ask someone they said that it smelled like old granny <laughs> and i know i could be in granny but he said you know that type old-fashioned granny so this has in top note strawberry i can slightly smell it just the first spray pear he uh, heliotrope then in the middle indonesia patchouli leaf orange blossom and jasmine base mask vanilla pot toffee and haitian vetiver and i really like it this is sweet fruity and musky i can't smell toffee really in it more of the white flowers so when this dries down i actually wore that a couple of days ago to the gym again i feel like this is pretty clean fresh and when he said that it smells like old granny i thought well maybe but when it completely dries down it gives me the vibe of narciso rodriguez pure mask it is not a dupe in any way but gives me that vibe that clean white flowers musky vibe i really like this one it's something that i would wear after a shower going to bed that sort of scent i do like this one okay the next one is royal vanilla you have to also remember some of them when you first spray them are quite synthetic and really strong so don't be put off by that just let it sit there for five minutes so um, sometimes they are a bit scary because they are so strong right royal vanilla hmm. so uh, here in the top notes you have citrus fruits rose water pink rhubarb leaves in the middle caramel rose petals violet orange blossom and base amber white mask vanilla and patchouli leaves 
yes I remember this one so this opens up quite citrusy and fruity and then very quickly I think this is quite heavy on patchouli I don't like this one to me it reminds me a bit of hair salon shampoos hair products I don't know why I must have smelled hair product like it it's quite feminine I can smell this violet I don't really smell my rose vanilla it's just a bit all over the place I don't like this one the next one next one is velvet vanilla okay there is a story attached to it this really messed with my head so let me tell you the story first when I was about 17 16 17 do you remember what well, this company still exists big BIC the company that makes pens and they also used to make cigarette lighters and then they came out with perfume there, there was few of them the perfume bottle was very tiny it's supposed to resemble the cigarette lighter and the one that I've bought was the big jaw which had a red cap I think I have a picture here so I will put it up and I loved this fragrance it was strong it was beautiful everybody could smell it everybody loved it on me and then it disappeared you couldn't buy it anymore and I thought of it a few months back and I was so obsessed with find, finding it I even found a house that made it I was researching of course they don't make it anymore we're talking 30 odd years ago I even found someone selling vintage two bottles that had just half of liquid left in it half of the juice it probably smells smells disgusting and I would have bought it you know but the just the postage for it was something like 50 pounds so I thought no I won't do it but I had this real need to find this perfume you know what it's like when you smell something and it reminds you of a time in your life or your childhood or or something pleasant that happened to you that's how I felt about this so I'm smelling the velvet vanilla and this thing goes in my head and I think oh my god this smells like the big jaw I am not completely convinced remember last time I smelt it was about 35 years ago that it smells like it but something in my head woken up and said this smells very very similar to Big Jean I think this smells very similar to Big but I think it's sweeter I think Big had a bit more sharpness and I even found on Frank Grantica this fragrance but the notes were very simple you know just said fruity notes floral notes and woody notes that's all they had on this perfume so I can't remember what was actually in it hmm it definitely has something from the beak anyway so in here in the top you have pear angelica black currant pink pepper mandarin and clove in the middle tuberose jasmine neroli rose in the base vanilla and white mask maybe the big wasn't didn't have the vanilla in there it had something woody instead because i don't think it was as sweet anyway this is just white this is like tuberose really sweet tuberose and vanilla that's that's all you could have in there i can't really pick out the black currant the angelica maybe angelica a bit especially when you first spray it maybe a bit of that pink pepper but it's basically very sweet some people say that it smells like bubble gum it doesn't to me it doesn't connect the bubble gum and this but I can see 
how people can can say it it is so sweet and i don't know if i want to buy it or not because i don't know if i'm i want to buy it because of that memory or because i really love it i do like it but i am seriously thinking about getting this one i like it <laughs> this one really messes with my head because i don't know if I want it because it makes me nostalgic or is it because I really, really love it. I like it. Anyway, this one is a possible buy. Okay, we down to the last one and probably my favorite one. And this is Instant Crush. And if you are a fan of Baccarat Rouge, you probably have heard it that this is very, very similar. Okay, I don't have to talk about this. Let's talk about this first. Okay, let me spray it. <laughs> okay, so the notes in this one are saffron, ginger, Sicilian mandarin and Sicilian bergamot. So it opens I can definitely smell the saffron and the citrusy fruit at the very first spray. Then in the middle, amber wood, Moroccan rose, Egyptian jasmine, patchouli leaf, and in the base, Madagascar vanilla, white musk, sandalwood, and oak moss. I love it. So, I have smelled Baccarat Rouge. I've got a few samples of Baccarat Rouge because Baccarat Rouge is one of those fragrances that mess with my head as well. I really like it. I don't know if I want to spend £235 on a bottle of it. But the thing about Baccarat Rouge, it's like a drug. Baccarat Rouge has something in it that it makes you compulsively keep smelling it. I cannot get enough of it. So I like smelling it, but I'm not sure I want to smell like it, if that makes sense. I think I love it on my husband, but he said to him, Baccarat Rouge smells too feminine because it's quite sweet. But to me, it isn't. So I would love it on him. I don't know if I should be wearing it, but I can't stop smelling it. If you know what I mean. I know, it's really weird. Anyway, this is so similar to Baccarat Rouge. Actually, let me spray Baccarat Rouge on this hand. I've got a huge sample of this one. The opening is totally different. When you, you see, <laughs> the Baccarat Rouge smells to me like cat pee, like a litter tray the first first spray but that goes like within 30 seconds and i know everybody has this i think it smells a bit different of, on everybody it's such an enigma this scent because i've heard some people saying that it smells to them like a dentist office to some people smells like bandages i don't get that at all but when i first spray it i get litter tray cat litter tray the the wee wee <laughs> but now it's gone this is so similar but in instant crash it's not as sweet as baccarat rouge probably because of that mandarin and bergamot which baccarat doesn't have but if you look instant crash in top has the saffron so does baccarat rouge and Man uh, Mancera, the Instant Crush, has the Jasmine, which Baccarat Rouge has as well. And they're a bit um, similar in the base notes. So the Oak Moss, you get Oak Moss in both of them and you get the Wood in both of them. So I feel if you find Baccarat Rouge too sweet, you'd love this. I some, some days I think I prefer the Instant Crush. Some days I think I prefer Baccarat Rouge. And some people will tell you they don't smell anything alike. 
I'm sorry to me, especially when instant crash dries down completely, couple of hours down the road. It smells to me just like Baccarat Rouge. Okay, so how I see it, <laughs> I see instant crash. If you had a plate with all the notes on it and you sniff that plate, so the rim of the plate smells like Baccarat Rouge, just identical, and that's probably the top, that saffron and the oak moss at the bottom. So I can imagine around the plate, it smells just like Baccarat Rouge, but then in the middle, you get a bit of that fresher citrusy smell. Sorry, I know this is ridiculous, but these two fragrances really, really do something to me and I have these images. So Baccarat Rouge to me smells, again, that, that is going back to my childhood. We used to have a lot of bonfires and imagine like burnt wood that is still, is gone out, you just have the embers and that smell of that smoke from bonfire wood and then cotton candy or maybe even roasting marshmallows but I can smell that smoke yeah it's like candy floss eating candy floss while sitting surrounded by smoke <laughs> whereas this is not as sweet the instant crash is not as sweet it's maybe a bit a bit more spicy than Baccarat Rouge anyway Saying that, I've got a full bottle of Instant Crush and funny enough, it came today. I ordered it a while ago and I didn't know if it was going to get here for this video but it arrived today and I got a, such a good deal. I can't remember now which site I bought it on, it could have been Notino. I got 120 mil for I think 80 something pounds which is amazing price. Uh, this is the box and look how beautifully packaged they come in this leather pouch well I don't know if it's leather and this is the bottle most of Mancera bottles are sort of ombre so this one is like gold going down into pale gold and it's sort of see-through here is the cap, it's very shiny so I don't know if you can see it, it's so so beautiful and this is 120 mil so it's enormous and I am so happy to have it. So I have something that is similar to Baccarat Rouge for third, fourth <laughs> of the price. Now I think I still would like Baccarat Rouge in my collection but I honestly cannot bring myself to spend £235 for I think it's is it 70 mil that is £235 I think it's 70 mil so it's like almost half of this and three times as expensive I felt like I had to have it it's something about this Baccarat Rouge vibe that makes you crazy. It just makes you want to smell it all the time. I would just basically walk all day doing this, all day, and you can't stop yourself. It's like a compulsion. <laughs> anyway, I've talked enough, looked and sounded unhinged slightly, but I'm fine. Okay, my lovelies, uh, let me know if you've got any Manceras because they have so many, I haven't tried half of it. Um, let me know if you've got any Manceras that I don't have and are your favourites. And we will keep exploring other brands and other niche perfumes on this channel. And one day I might find something that I cannot live without and I am prepared to pay a lot of money for but for for now that's all thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye